Okay, this is going to be the uh, first async lesson for pre-calculus. Um, this will be on Canvas. Uh, this is for you to do, work along. It should, should be a pretty simple lesson. We're going to talk about evaluating of a function. Okay, if I'm given a function like this and it says f of negative 6, what does this mean? This means substitute um, this number for all x's. Okay? So for instance, what I would do is I do three space negative seven my, uh, negative six minus seven. So I just put that in there. That's all that means. So that'd be negative eighteen minus seven negative twenty-five. Okay. So this means two. So every spot that I see x, I'm going to put a parenthesis and put a two. Okay. So two squared is four. Four times four, uh, negative six times two is uh, negative twelve plus 5, so that's going to be uh, 16 minus 12 plus 5, 4 plus 5 gives me 9. Okay? All right? Simple calculations. Okay? So pause the video right now and do these two questions. Okay? Now that you're done, okay, I'm going to go over how to do these questions. So you should have paused the video, done these two, and now you're... Uh, going to check your work. All right? So this would be 8 times 5 plus 6. That would be 40 plus 6, which is 46. This one I'm putting negative 3 in there. 2 times negative 3. 5 times negative 3 with a minus 1. Okay? Uh, negative 3 squared would be 9. Okay? 2 times uh, 9 is 18. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. That 18 minus that would be 3, minus 1 would be 2. Okay? All right, next concept is how to ev evaluate these functions when you're given a graph and to find something called rate of change. What this means is, this is your x. So on the x-axis, I go 1, 2, negative 3, and I want to go till I hit the point on the actual curved graph. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5. Okay? Same thing with this. I got my x is 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 3. Okay? And that's how you get those answers. The rate of change from 2 to negative 3 means these are x values. So what they want to find is the rate of change. That's very similar to slope. And the slope formula basically says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? So when I'm doing my slope formula, I've got to put my minus in to start, okay? So this is my x2, this is my y2, x1, y1. It does not matter if you made these x2, y2, and these x1 and y1, just keep them consistent, okay? So I got negative 3, 5, um, 2, and negative 3, okay? So negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. 2 minus negative 3 would be 5, and then that would be the rate of change, and that's a negative slope, which makes sense. Okay? Let's go to this one. All right? Uh, we want to find f of uh, negative 4 and f of 7. So what I would do is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this result would be 6. f of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, all right, and at seven, that actually crosses right here at zero. Okay, so seven at zero. All right, so if I want to find the, the rate of change from, make an adjustment here, from, uh, sorry, change this problem. I want to find it from negative four to seven, okay? I want to find it from negative four to seven. All right, I got to do my slope formula. This is going to be uh, x2, y2, x1, y1. Okay, so 0, 6, 7, negative 4. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. 7 minus negative 4 uh, turns into 11. That would be considered my rate of change. Okay? All right? So here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to do f of uh, negative 2, and I would like you to do f of 3, 
And I would like you to find the rate of change from negative two to three. So go ahead and pause your video. Work on that. When you get done, unpause. Okay, let's go ahead and go over that. All right, so that's gonna be uh, two over. All right, so that was gonna be at negative one. This is three over, one, two, three. This is down one, two, three, four, and five. So those will be my results. All right, this would be my X2, my Y2, my X1, my Y1. Once again, if I made these X1 and Y1, that's fine. This is X2, Y2, that would be fine. Okay, so to my slope formula, keep those minuses in there so you don't forget. Five and negative one, three and negative two. So that's going to be six over five. Okay, it's gonna be six over five. All right, make sure that's right. Negative two, negative one, okay. Uh, three, oh, sorry, that should have been negative five. All right, I knew there was something wrong there. And the reason why I knew something was wrong is because I have a negative slope between those. So that would have been, um, that would have been negative uh, four. Okay, so yes, that should have been a negative five. All right, and you'll find this about me. You know, I'm always willing to correct a mistake, okay? All right, so let's say um, I would like you to find on this example, I would like you to find F of I'd like you to find f of negative eight, and I would like you to find f of two. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video, and I also want you to do rate of change from negative eight to two. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video, work on that uh, problem. Okay, so f of negative eight is negative two, F of two is one, two, three, four. Okay, rate of change. All right, subtract. Okay, so this is my X1. I'm gonna say X2, Y2. This is um, X1, Y1. All right, so I got four. Okay, uh, the other Y is negative two. I got two. My other uh, X is negative eight. That should be uh, six over 10, which is three times. Okay, all right. Now, last part of this is evaluating with a binomial. The rules still stay the same. I'm going to substitute this into every spot that I see X. So what that is going to be is I would have X minus two. It's right there, okay? So now, uh, this is, uh, if, if you did the polynomial box multiplication, Okay, if you've been taught that, that's what squared means. Okay, so that's gonna be x squared, because this, what this means is it writes it twice. Okay, so that would be negative two x, negative two x, negative two times negative two would be positive four. Okay, so I got x squared um, minus four x plus four. I take this negative three, treat it as a negative, that'd be negative three x, negative three times two would be positive six with a positive four. I combine my like terms, the x squareds combine. These would combine to negative seven uh, x, okay? And then my numbers of four, six, and four would combine to 14, okay? Same thing with this one over here. There's a slightly, a, an extra step. So I would do two parentheses, three x plus one squared plus six times three x plus one minus three, okay? So the squared thing means, I always think squared make a square. 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1. So that's going to be 9x squared, because 3x times 3x would give me that. 3x times 1 is 3x. 1 times 3x is 3x. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay? All right. Now, since we have this number outside, what we, com what we got is 9x squared. These combine to 6x. This is just a 1. But since I have this two out here, I have to also distribute that. So that's 18x squared plus 12x plus two. The six, I multiply, I get 18x plus six, okay, with a minus three out there, okay? All right, if I combine my like terms, I got 18x squared. These x's would combine to 30x, and I got two, six, negative three. That's two plus six would be eight, minus three would be five. 
that would be my answer. Okay. All right, now what I'd like you to do is pause the video, okay? And you guys work on these two problems. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go over these. So this one which has the 8, okay, squared minus 7. So I, I replaced that with 5x plus 3, 5x plus 3, okay? I got to do the box for this. That's going to be 5x plus 3. All right, uh, I'm sorry, whoops, hold on. I don't want to do that. Ah. 5x plus 3, 5x plus 3. 5 times 5 would be 25x squared. 3 times 5x would be 15x. 5x times that would be 15x. 3 times 3 would be 9. Okay. Once again, because I have that 8 there, I get a result of 25x squared. If I combine these, it's 30x. And then that's a nine. I still have this eight here, so I'd multiply that. Eight times that would be 200. Eight times 30 would be uh, 240. Eight times uh, nine would be 72. I still have this, I gotta treat that like a negative seven. So that's negative 35x minus 21. Okay, the x's do not combine, x squared does not combine. That x and that x would bring me down to 205x. And then these numbers, 7 minus that, would give me negative 14. So that's what you should have got for that answer. Okay, moving on to this last question. All right, I would put uh, 4 x minus 6 squared minus 2 x minus 6 minus 9. With this x minus 6, this goes down the sides. So that's x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 36. Once again, because I got that 4 there, what I combine has to still get distributed. So those x's would be negative 12, that would be 36. Okay, so I distribute that, that gives me 4x squared minus 48x, um, I think plus 144. Okay, I take this negative 2, that's going to be negative 2x plus 12, because a negative times a negative is a positive, with a minus 9 out there. Okay, all right. I know I'm running out of board here. Okay, so what I got is I got 4x squared. Uh, these x's combine to negative 50. And then the numbers of 144 and 12 would be 156. Um, uh, minus 9 would be 147. Okay, so though, I sorry I ran off the board there. So that's your first async lesson. I hope, I hope that made some sense to you. Okay, I will post the notes in our uh, canvas uh, underneath that. So if you don't want to take the notes, you, you don't have to.